This is without question the most sophisticated shot timer available on the market today. So for those of you who are either new to the shooting world or who have been in the shooting world for quite a long time, something you might have seen people use a lot is called a shot timer. Now there are many different variations of different offerings of shot timers on the market, but this one is without question the one that stands out most to me being the most feature rich, coming with the most accessories and being able to be most valuable to a person with little to no experience all the way to a person who has years of experience. And I'll explain to you why. Now, what this is, is a shot timer. What a shot timer is, is that it records sound and is able to give you an exact measurement of when the sound happened. So what it does is as an example, you'll set for a certain time, a certain set of time. Once you hit start, it's going to go beep. When you hear the beep, you're going to draw and fire. And from the time that the beep started until the gunshot went off, it's going to be able to gauge, gauge you exactly how long that takes. Now that's extremely important because there's no cheating the system over here. So if you're looking to figure out how fast you're able to draw from concealment or how fast you're able to draw from an outside the waistband holster, how fast you're able to transition from target to target, this gives you an exact measurement to make sure that you're going, you're keeping yourself honest and being able to see consistent growth in your training. Now, that's going to be a very big aspect because this offers something that no other shot timer on the market I was able to find is able to do and is why I think it's extremely valuable to every person who's in, in the training world. So before we get into all those features, I wanna speak about the accessories that come with it that really make this stand out. So the biggest thing about this that really stuck out to me first was the fact that this is magnetic. So there's the shot timer itself and then a magnetic base that's connected to it. So without, the reason why that's valuable is you might see a lot of people who have it clipped on to their pants and then they have to remove the shot timer, check it, and then re reset it to their, to their belt or whatever it might be, which is a small inconvenience, but it's just cool that they, th they actually thought about that. So the way this works is that it has the same clip that a lot of shot timers have, but when you wanna check the time, you just remove it from your belt, check the time, and then you snap it back on. So it's not a consistent like back and forth of being able to try it. It's just a quick on and off thing. Now, this is obviously battery powered. So along with that design, they're like, let's not just make it battery powered. Let's make that magnetic base also a battery pack. So on the bottom of this magnetic base, there is a port over here that's using USB-C that you could charge up. And then again, while it's connected to your belt, it's charging. So it itself has a way for it to charge to have full battery. But if you're a person who is like an RSO, if you're at a competition and you might be doing drills throughout the entire day, to be able to guarantee having more battery life, you could have this charging on the side when you're not using it. And it does come with a lanyard. So while you're using the lanyard on your neck, um, this could be charging up for you. And then when you want it to, you just have it snap back on, have it more charging um, while, while the drills are going on. And then you should be good throughout the entire day without question. It does also come with the USB USB-C wire, so it's able to charge uh, when you need it. But both, again, both individually, the battery pack and the shot timer itself have their own battery setup. So you can have this charging throughout the entire day. The other part of it being magnetic, which is really cool, is that the indoor range that I go to have metal barriers that separate the range lanes. So when I was at the range, I was just able to stick it to the wall. So I'm able to have a more guaranteed directional sound happening just from my firearm. Now, something I did test as well is that most shot timers are going to fail in this category. And I was wasn't sure about this one so I just wanted to test it for myself is that if you're at the indoor range and you're having gunshots go off it's often able to pick up the sound of the people next to you so ultimately that was just a test that I did I wasn't expecting it to pass I was just curious to see how directional the sound was um, you'll see in the video that it was able to pick up the sound of other shooters nearby so generally shot timers are going to be used in an environment where you're able to control the sounds that are happening around you so it's only picking up the sound of your individual gunfire um, so that didn't work in this case I just something I wanted to test and point out over there. However, again, once you have it magnetically set up to anywhere that you want it to, you can just have it running and not need to worry about it. And you could just check it, pull it off uh, on and off the wall, which again, I thought was really cool. I was also able to use it that when I was dry firing in my house, um, I was able to have it connected to like any random pole just to be able to have it in place nearby. Again, this is magnetic. So think about your fridge or any part of your house that may be able to be, have a place that you can attach it to. It's very modular in that sense. And it's, it's actually a pretty nice feature to be able to have along with it. Now, the reason why I think this is steps above anything else available on the market is that this shot timer comes with the ability to choose the, the level of sound, the sensitivity of the sound that it's picking up. The reason why that's extremely important is that this functions very well with dry fire training. Now, for those of you who might not be familiar, 
in dry fire training is arguably more important than going to the range and shooting because there are seven fundamentals that a person is doing when they're going to the range and training. Six out of the seven fundamentals do not require the gun to go off. So there's stance, grip, sight alignment, sight picture, trigger press, breathing, and follow through. Those are going to be the fundamentals that you're dealing with when you're going to be shooting at the range. Now, stance doesn't require the gun to be going off. Grip doesn't require the, the gun to be going off. These are all fundamentals that are able to be done at home to perfect your skills at, in the basic fundamentals fundamentals to eventually be able to grow to be a better shooter. Now, if you're using airsoft guns, especially if you're going to be practicing more dangerous drills that you would be more scary to do at an indoor range, so you just want to practice those before going live, or many ranges might not allow you to practice those drills because they might be more dangerous, this is something you're able to practice at home. So I have an airsoft gun that I often use for dry fire practice, and when I was setting it up, this was able to pick up all the sound perfectly without there being any issue, and in doing so, I'm able to practice more serious drills while also being able to get a good read on my draws and my firing because this is able to pick that up. This is also able to pick up even the sound of your trigger just going off. So if you have a regular firearm, you don't have an airsoft gun, the, sa the sound of the trigger going off is able to be recorded so you're able to get consistent shot times for things that you're going to practice. So if you're going to draw from your holster and just do a presentation and fire, this is able to pick that up. So. In the aspect of dry fire training alone, this is a massive step above because you're able to get consistent readings on things that you're able to do inside your home without the need to go to the range. So for dry fire practice, if you wanna be able to practice those individual skill sets and be able to make sure you're recording those sounds properly, this is an awesome option to be able to look at that will allow you to do that. Now going even further past that is the option for you to be able to connect this to an app. So they have their own app that you're able to download whether it's for your iPhone or Android devices and what it does is it connects the shot timer to the app and it does some incredible stuff. So one of the first things that I like just stood out to me, there's so many features I will not be able to cover so I'm just going to cover the highlighted ones that I think are most unique is that you're able to connect it to the app and it's able to record you. So there's a record button on the app that you're able to press and while it's connected to the shot timer, the shot timer is going to be picking up the accurate amount of sound and relaying that to your phone so you're able to still get those readings but you're able to do it in a recording setting so when the phone is recording you every time the gun goes off it's actually going to show you during the video which shot was which which time slot so that if you're re re like re-watching yourself and seeing where you made mistakes you can see exactly where those shots happen so you're able to determine where the problems were so if you see a shot then there's a pause and a shot instead of you trying to figure out where that was or if you're in competition and you weren't focused on that you were focused on the drills that you were doing you can then re-record rewatch those videos and see okay during that time the reason why there is that pause is I did a reload or the reason why they took that long is that I fumbled a reload or I, I stepped incorrectly you're able to usually like literally watch it as gameplay and look back at the mistakes you made or the things you did correctly to then see exactly where those things happened which is absolutely incredible so again that can be done in live fire or in dry fire training another thing they have is the feed section which means you could just be using the same app to kind of compete with other people on the internet so you could upload a drill that you did with all the shot timers there, show the exact protocol of how you ran something smoothly or whatever it might be, and people could comment or interact with that training drill and also take those training drills and use them for themselves, which is really cool because it's created a community of shooters all competing and doing different things with an actual shot timer, which means the sounds and drills are being recorded properly so you know that you're able to do them right, which I think, again, is an amazing feature to be able to create a network of all of these people training all in the same place. In the app itself, you're also able to have the section for training and you're able to choose between uh, airsoft guns or rifles, whatever, and there's a lot of different, a lot, a lot of different variables that will also choose the sensitivity. So if you're going to be shooting an airsoft gun versus a rifle, obviously the sensitivity will be different and there are settings that you can auto adjust for that. Another really cool feature is that if you have your phone set up that it's recording you that you want it to have recorded during the drills that you're doing, you don't want to really run there, hit start and then run back and then make sure you have enough of a gap time before the drill begins. So since they're connected to each other, to each other you're able to have the shot timer connected to your phone where when you hit start on the shot timer, it's going to let the phone know that it began. And then in that setting, it's able to just start auto starting for you. So you never need to be near either one of them because you could use either one of them to be able to control the shot timer. And again, you're still ultimately getting accurate amounts of settings. In the app itself as well, you're also able to choose settings that whatever you uh, adjust in the app itself will affect the shot timer. So if you have specific drills preset, 
you can just create drills that you're able to use and then have them preset that when you run those drills, it'll connect to the shot timer. And then by doing so, it's going to be able to make it run uh, both together. So anything you do on the shot timer will affect the app. Anything you do on the app will affect the shot timer and it's able to give you your feed. Uh, the last thing that I think is important to point out is that there's kind of like an events history section where you could go to all the different dates and all the different drills that you've done and watch the videos or watch the drills, see all the history of the, the drills that you performed. So you're able to get a large record of all those things. Those are all connected to your email. So once you like sign up, it doesn't cost anything to use the app. Um, you'll be able to get all those features and have a record of all the things that you're using. So it gives you a large history that you can always look back and see your progress over the years that you're using this to see like how well you're doing. So if you're looking for a shot timer that's extremely feature rich, is steps above anything else I've seen on the market and is able to come in with all the accessories that it comes with, I think this is an incredible option with everything that it does, especially if you're gonna be, most of the, most people are gonna buy one shot timer and just be done with it. If you're gonna get one and done, I think this is most definitely the route that you should go because it just has mo the most amount of features I've seen anywhere on the market, as well as the biggest th thing I wanna highlight is the fact you're able to use this efficiently in dry fire. That is a game changer to be able to have that kind of efficiency and accuracy when it comes to your dry fire training. So if you have any questions on this, I'm gonna leave more information in the description below. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is Raziel Cohen with ndftraining.com. Thank you for watching.